Dooley noted, 117, 2016. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here at Level One in KT in London with the amazing Rebecca. You're here from London, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where's your practice? In Blackheath. Please go to see her. She's amazing. Um, so, um, you're learning NKT this weekend. Yes. And we learned something about you that you had an overly supinating foot in mid stance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, an overly over supinating foot in mid stance is usually driven by tibialis posterior. Now, most people, when they're trying to release the tibialis posterior, they tend to go a little bit too posterior. They tend to go this way on Rebecca. And let me show you why that's problematic. Uh, uh oh. There we go, perfect. <laughs> and then there. So do you guys see the tibial nerve sitting right on the surface of tibialis posterior? So if you're palpating from the posterior too much, you might compress the tibial nerve. In fact, if you're really palpating tib post, you probably are compressing the tibial nerve. Uh, and we wanna avoid that. Uh, no numbness and tingling created by our therapy. That would be great. Uh, so when you're palpating tib post, you can still get to it. And let's show you how long we're you actually come to this direction. I'm going to apologize in advance if this is sore, because the likelihood of it being sore is very good. Uh, you're going to find the medial shin. You're going to come right inside the tibial shaft, and this muscle here, holy heck, this is tight in here. Wow. Um, this area is flexor digitorum longus. Uh, this will be the reason why you might have a little bit of toe curl. You actually don't have too much toe curl. But if we come past the flexor digitorum longus, we scoop past it, and we soften up as much as we can Rebecca's gastroc and soleus, we're going to scoop underneath just bypassing that Achilles. And she should probably have some pretty sore spots through here. Yeah, right there. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, so be really gentle in your palpation, more gentle than I. Uh, so right through here is where you want to palpate tip post. You can stretch tip post by um, going into dorsiflexion and eversion. And you can pinpoint that little spot, right? And you don't really like that action, do you? Right, so when you decide to do a release on that particular structure, you want to take them from plantar flexion and inversion into dorsiflexion and eversion. It's like a pin and stretch, right? Um, you can focus on the, the really tight area here and always palpating from here. If you palpate from the gastroc and soleus this way, not only are the likelihood very poor that you're gonna get to it, but you're, if you do get to it, you're gonna compress the tibial nerve and posterior tibial artery. That, those are innervations to not only the posterior cruel compartment, but the bottom of the foot and the feed to it as well. So we don't really like for things to be avascular in the foot. So probably take your hands off of that and do a more medial palpation. Thank you so much for letting me poke you a little bit at tip post. Thank you. Yeah, she already knows what her correction is at home. You know, with NKT, you don't just do releases. You have to find out what that structure actually is compensating for. So if you haven't taken an NKT seminar, I highly advise it. Would you advise it? You're a new attendee. Absolutely. Oh, see, I didn't even pay her to say that. <laughs> Dr. Kathy Dooley, we'll see you next time.